Rightio. So, right, okay, now we've bolted the uh, uh, servo in, this bracket. The good thing with these brackets is uh, you don't necessarily have to worry about the position of the servo in relation to the point arm. Because uh, the good thing is you can just slide that up and down in that bracket for the right position. So it, 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 it's quite good. You don't have to get it exactly right. It's not a precise art. So as long as you're somewhere near it, 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 it works all right. So we've got the signal in there. Um, I've fitted the board in this position. Um, I've shifted all the wiring over, as you can see. Uh, so we've um, fitted the board on. Now, uh, where have we got? So um, we've got our control um, our supply voltage here now this is just an old Hornby controller that I've taken out the, the speed control uh, and we're just using the 12 volt supply it also has an AC voltage out at the end here as well so the AC voltage is for the points uh, this is a CDU for the points uh, and we have our uh, 12 volt supply coming off of here as well so obviously you'd have a DC in 12 volt supply going to the the speed control uh, and then that would be regulated you'd have a, a variable potentiometer there so I've taken that out and we're just using the, the, the control coming out now this what I've done is I've beefed this up slightly so these had a thermal cutout in them which was at about a, an amp I think so if you had a short circuit it would just cut the voltage out and then when you take the short away it cools down and it comes back again so I've put a slightly bigger one in this is a 2.2 amp one uh, so <clears throat> that it just gives it a little bit more power just for the point control and also all the lights and hopefully fingers crossed for this as well uh, so what we've done is we've taken a 12 volt supply off I've put it for a switch so this switch is to, to turn the lights on and off um, and that comes down and you can see down here uh, this is uh, our voltage supply for lights now that also goes the other way so it can go across into the next board along so all I've done is I've tapped into there so our voltage supply comes in at this point. So this is just a 12 volt supply. I've tested it and it works. Uh, we can also do the same thing for the lights on here. Up here, so this is coming from, if we follow this all the way along. So that goes through the board, along here, and down to, down to here. So this is a, a, a voltage regulator really really stable voltage regulator for both leds and incandescent bulbs um it works really well these are made by a company called dcc concepts concepts you can get them from gauge master really good board thoroughly recommend these because they stabilize voltages and give you a nice output for leds without the need to add more resistors and for lamps as well so that's really good um so you can see in relation to where we are where that is in the board so the next thing is what i'm doing now is um i'm sorting out the linkage the linkage between here and here um one of the things so I, I did a dummy run on this the other day and one of the things i noticed is where the the wire goes through here so you imagine i've got a z bend going through that arm and that arm when the point was moving the arm was moving up and down the the bit of wire was moving up and down on here so it was, it was almost like it, it, there was too much slop. So when you had the signal bounce, it wasn't moving this, it was moving that up and down. So what I've done is I've added another piece of fillet of plastic in there, because I can't get the, the bend in the, the, the radius, the bend in the, in the arm too fine. It, I just couldn't bend it that fine enough, so I've added an extra fillet in there. So what I'm doing now, um, I'm just drilling a hole through that, I'm going to add the arm onto there, bend up a bit of wire, and we'll give it a test. So I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, so we've got the arm in there. Uh, so we've got a Z bend in there. So a Z bend goes, so it's, it's, it comes along, goes through a hole in your arm, and then comes along to the servo, comes through the servo, and then goes through uh, 90 degrees again so uh, a Z bend going through there now this is where we said we had the slop in the in the in the mechanism what was happening when the when the bounce occurred the servo was moving the wire connection was moving but it was just going up and down because of the slop in it so adding that extra fillet of plastic in there seems to have worked quite well so if we just operate the switch for, for 
couple of operations you should be able to see it moving backwards and forwards and off so you can see that the bounce in the servo is actually operating the lever arm on the on the um, the lever arm on the signal itself so this seems to be working quite well we've we've adjusted this all up I've screwed this on now so um, I've permanently fixed it on there I mean it's no big deal it's just holding it on there because that's quite a loose fit on there and if it in every now and again it will just drop off when we tilt the board down so what I'm going to do now is go up the top so uh, turn the board down so we can actually have a look at the, uh, the, the movement in the signal itself. So we're going to have a look, see what that's like now. Hopefully we can see what's going on here. So um, signal's mounted in. What I've actually done, uh, I've cleared all the gravel, all the ballast away. I've actually recessed the baseboard ever so slightly. I've taken out uh, only about a millimetre of the baseboard. Um, so we can sit the signal down even lower into the baseboard so when we ballast it you won't get a little raised bit um, I've looked at prototypical pictures of signals and you can't see any of this all you've got is a post coming up through the board right so let's give this a try and see how it comes out so if we operate the signal and drop it so we drop by about that far and then when it comes back up again that's not far that's not bad actually I think that's going up just a little bit too high, but that's not too bad at all. The important thing we've got to look at is whether the 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 go the green is actually covering the LED when we pull the lever on. That's the important bit we've got to look at. Yeah, that looks good. Looking at that, that looks pretty good. So pull the oh, pull the lever off, and you get the signal bounce as well, which is really good. You can see that coming through. So pull the lever on, pull the signal on, and then release. Good. That's it, that's good. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Really happy with that. So, uh, I think we'll uh, fix that in position. I think, really, that's it. So, we're, next thing we're going to do is... Oh, no, actually, we've got to test it with the LED. So, we'll wire up the LED just before we do anything, just in case. So, we'll wire up the LED, make sure that's all working, uh, and then we'll give it another test. Hopefully, this is uh, uh, going to come across all right. So, uh, we've wired up the LED. You can see the LED's up in uh, up in there, and it's it's all nice and sparkly. So we can test it with the LED, so wired, it, wired in the LED and, and we're going to test it with the lights on now. So, <clears throat> pull the lever on, goes green, lever comes off and it goes back to red. Now I've got to adjust this ever so slightly because the, the, the signal arm is, is canted up very, very slightly. Um, it's not so obvious on, on the camera, uh, but you can see it looking along the, the layout. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping you'll agree with me that that actually looks really good. Get the signal bounce, so pull the lever arm on, and then off, and you get a bit of bounce on it as well. That's awesome. So the next thing we've got to do, fill it back in again, ballast it. That, do you know what, a couple of evenings work, that ain't been too bad. I'm quite happy with that indeed. Uh, switches, we got the switches off of eBay. Uh, I've also ordered some plugs up. Um, now, retrofitting stuff, fitting up stuff after you've you've thought of the idea isn't always good. Uh, but you know, it's like stuff evolves and things change. Uh, what I've got to do is is run the wires from the switch on the board to my control panel. So they've got to go that way. Where's my finger? They've got to go that way. Um, so we've got to run them onto the board itself. Uh, so um, I've ordered up some 12-way connectors. Um, what I really want to do in the future is change the point control as well. Now there's an old adage of, if it ain't broke, don't mend it. Uh, but I really want 
to use these mega point controllers to control the points as well it will take down the amount of wires going in between the board and the control panel uh, so these 12 way connectors hopefully will allow me to do that in the future at the moment what I'm going to have to do is have a, a plug going over for point control so a point uh, the the a plug going over for point control and then we're going to need another plug coming over for track and for for the the switches fingers crossed um we'll see how we go anyway <laughs> 